All right, welcome back, uh, mages of all ages, to some more Mage Wars. I know it's been a while, I just want to get this out of the way. Uh, we are currently playtesting in Mage Wars, if, in case you haven't been keeping up the Discord. There is a whole playtesting thing going on for a final release of a uh, set of the Elementalist and the Monk. And so I've been spending a lot of time playtesting, and I have not really made, done a lot of recording for Mage Wars. It's always my intention to get as many Mage Wars videos out to you guys as possible. I just, uh, I have been out, burned out a little bit by the playtesting. I, I spent a lot of time playtesting for the game, and I I don't really feel like the early playtesting... It's kind of interesting with the, the playtesting and recording, because it's like... If you're watching a game of a playtest and then the next week and before my videos are even released, the every card you see is changed, it creates this weird dynamic and that's why I haven't really been doing it a lot. Uh, now that the playtesting is getting close to being um, fine-tuned, I think we can start doing it a little bit and I hope that you guys will enjoy it. Just to be aware that everything you see here is subject to change and that everything uh, is temporary, at least in the current design. So you are, of course, allowed to leave any comments and, and, and I am encouraged discussion. You can do that on the Discord as well. You don't have to comment on my videos for it. I just want to give you what is a, sort of a snapshot of the current state of Mage Wars, uh, with the, with the playtesting rules as they stand as of, uh, right, uh, this recording here, which is, 10th of Ju July, it's July, it's July. <laughs> All right, so with that, we are going to move into our game here. Today we are up against Knappmaster, who is playing the Elementalist, and I will be playing the Siren. And this is a Siren that I configured to have a, a few more tools against Incorporeal, Real, which is necessary nowadays. I have two L telekinetic bolts. We have the Pillar of Ice of Flame, and this one was always in there, I suppose. Uh, mainly it's the two telekinetic bolts and then an extra elemental wand, which should enable it more, and we'll see if we uh, can muster it. The request from the Arcane Duels in the latest update was that to play more games with weaker mages against the elementals to see if she get mowed down. So that's what we'll be doing today. Uh, this is a modification on the siren that I played in the Mod Wars tournament where I harmonize the echoes of the, the echo here of the depths and we'll see if we can make it work. I have a Stormfront elemental added in as well by the way so this is also a way to counter ethereal while also blocking it from the elementalist. Oh and here we are so it, we finally got first technical issues and are starting. Let's see here good look of fun and off we are into the game. Uh, Knappmaster gave me initiative no quick cast from me. We'll see. I think I should advance versus the Elementalist. So I will go forward and cast the Echo of the Depths. And say... Dumb the action faces. I wonder if he is going to dissolve my Echo. We'll see. Casts Amulet of Attunement from the Elementalist, and... Some said Battleforge in the corner. Alright. That's at least something the Siren is good against, so we might go for that. Let's see. Let me play the Harmonize, and put that on. I don't know if this automates yet, so we'll see. Uh, oh, and I should have 10 channeling for the playtest here. And then if that's it for now, end of the round. Alright, now we are in the deployment phase here. He casts Leather Shot Says from his Battle Forge. We might be rushed by the Elemental here, that's a, a Elementalist, that's entirely possible. I'm summoning Naya from the Echo of the Depths. This is my standard opening with this deck. Might be too slow, you should react to a, an Elementalist coming straight for you. So, yeah, we'll see if he does the whole... Oh, and I should have quick cast my... My healing metrical just to have a face down ench enchantment, so already messed it up. He might just stop double fireball me here, and <laughs> that would be pretty bad. Oh, here we see the kind of bone will go down. All right, so it is a bit of a slow build anyway, which is what I was planning for. It's good. And he plays a rock golem in that zone for free. 
which is the whole new combo that you can do with Ademonian and Rock Golem. I'll put it up on the screen here. You guys can pause and read it if you need to. I'm assuming that everyone is keeping themselves sort of updated with the playtesting though, so I won't go too much into detail. Let me move forward, cast the healing medical on myself, and then the Hawkeye. And then that is the end of the round. All right, we're moving into the deployment phase. Oh, let me do the math real quick. Hawkeye as well, and Ring of Tides is, what, eight? And then Harmonize for Naya is only one, and so I can afford the Ring of, sorry, the, the Short Steep Thrasher too. And this is more of a distraction for him. Let's see if it works out. I'm taking, trying, I'm throwing as well at the Battle Forge, trying to take it out at, at with eight. Eight dice, I think it's gonna be. So I'm hoping that that will do it. Or otherwise, we'll throw another one next turn. It's really hard to which uh, figure out which objective to go for on the elementalist. Right now, I'm going for the battle forge, natural, natural pandemonium. Could also just hit the elementalist, but I doubt that would work out. It's tricky. I don't know, man. Maybe it would. Uh, first quick cast phase. I'm not quick casting. He is quick casting. And I'm being enchanted with a tar trap, so I will not be able to do any of the things that I just told you guys I wanted to do. That is unfortunate. Well, he, I was hoping that he wouldn't go for that kind of play early on. It is what it is. Then Naya will move up here and enchant herself. For one mana. Spending that one. John. So yeah, Harmonize has a song tag now, which is why we're also getting extra mana of the Echo of Depths. Now we have two songs in play, which makes it more expensive to get rid of the uh, Echo of the Depths, which is quite nice. Spends a regular on the Amulet of Attunement, deactivates Watercliff, gains two mana, then he is guarding with his Rock Golem. Mm -hmm. And so I will activate my Siren, we'll see if it is a Tar Trap. Ah, it is a tar trap indeed. So I will put my siren's call on the short deep treasure. That should make it, let me see here, to do, do friendly accord, you could get two melee plus two, which is quite nice. So, uh oh, let me see if I can hit here. One mana for that, and then I will just play the ring of tides. Yeah. Tar trap is a very standard element to this play. They come out all the time. So I was expecting it, but I don't know if, if I could have done anything. I needed to either move and hit the Battle Forge or move and hit the Natural Pandemonium. This is fine for a result. Uh, we are taking out one Tar Trap by taking it like that. And he's playing a Tide Element, so that's really cool. That's a cheap, cool thing that you didn't really see often before. So the new Pandemonium with a fixed discount cost enables lower cre uh, cost creatures like the Rock Golem and now the Tide Elemental sees play. Very, very cool. And it's hydro immune, so that's really annoying for the Siren, of course. And that's the end of the round. Deployment phase. So, oh, I'm not deploying at all, I suppose. Right, yeah, no, that's fine. I really want to get my Stormfront Elemental out now from the Echo of the Depths. I also have Ritual of Kalek in hand, and we'll see if that becomes an option next turn. He is targeting me with an enchant here. All right. Maybe a Rust, we'll see. Uh, I'll talk myself with a divine protection here. He's playing Mage Bane. All right. Oh, that takes more, get more damage. And then let's see, end of the quick cast phase, action phase. What then is he going for my mage? I have played, uh, sorry, put a uh, the Leviathan scale on Naya so she can uh, give me some armor from back the back line here, and. Mm -hmm. Ritual of Kalik. I still will do the ritual, I think. Yeah. Next turn, Naya might just play a, what, Shadow Sea in here. I don't really want to have the Shadow Sea in here. And it's also interesting because the title in the mental is aquatic. He is getting some mana from the amulet. The title mental is attacking my little Shoals Deep Thrasher. That's fair. This one gives stagger tokens, which is bad for the minor creatures, obviously. And he cannot attack if it lands the stagger. Let's see if he gets away with it. 
No, but it almost died. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's they are squishy and mostly punching bags for my opponent usually, and that's exactly what we're seeing here. They, I, I would have been hit if not for the having the, the short zip pressure on the board, so that's why it's here. Then mm, I might as well use it, I suppose. Uh, the rock golem could come in here and punch me now. I am, and I have four dice on the thresher, so it seems like it's a decent idea to use it. I, I'm not gonna hit the golem that is guarding. I'm gonna hit the tide elemental. If I kill the golem, it's just gonna come back for free. So let's just punch the shows you thresher here. That's not what it's called. It's the tide elemental being punched by the show you thresher. damage because only crits connect yep so that's actually kind of quite decent roll done then I get the uh, Simon's call back the rock golem will move out indeed and kill my uh, thresher yeah two damage shows the thresher does not go gentle into that good night then the Lyoth and scale on to me from here. And other actions. Oh, no, well, no, just done, but whatever. Rachel Kelly coming out. What is he playing? A Steam Elemental. Lots of little elemental guys. That's cool. I have never seen this one in play. Oh, that's not true. I saw someone else play it in, in, in another game that I was spectating, but yeah, this is the first time I like really see it in action. That's really cool. Uh, this guy's hydroimmune, but otherwise it's starting to look like uh, tsunami territory. Let me play the Ritual of Calic. This one loses me to maximum life, and then I gain the mana. Yes. So, done. End of the round. Alright, deployment phase. Let's see. I'm putting out the Stormfront element, so let's just do it. That might give me some breathing room. I'm assuming that he probably runs Pillar and he might have, he probably has a lot of other. Oh, this one it has 13 health now. I think I'm running an older card. The uh, 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 Storm, Storm Front has 13 life now. I, I might have not updated my my card art. I think that's what happens here. So uh, yeah, it has 13 health. It is on the artwork, not mine. So let the chaussees as ball in hand, elements of worn for an asset wand. Uh, sorry, elements of worn with asset ball in hand. And he is deploying an elemental wand, which is going to be, well, um, almost certainly something with Ethereal now. That was a nice uh, counter deployment for him. First quick cast phase. I don't feel like I have to quick cast. So that's not. Let's see if I get enchanted again with another tar trap. I do not. All right. I do think I want to move and position myself over here. Uh, mm -mm. If he didn't deploy a, uh, like, put a tar trap on me yet, then he is not gonna. So, I will put my an elemental wand on myself for the next round. He's gonna remove it in the first action next round. That's the problem with that. So, that's why I didn't want to do it like that. There's no guard over here right now. Mm. Well. I feel like I'm getting overwhelmed pretty hard. Let's see if I can swing it back around. I don't really know what to do here. Um, move over here. I mean, I have a Stormfront Elemental on the board right now. I need to capitalize on my current board state, I guess. So I can go and just hit the natural pandemonium. Then I might as well Acid Ball it first with just a standard Acid Ball. I think I'm going to do that, yeah. Acid Ball. Oh, and uh, I can't afford the whole guy. All right, now. Oh, but a really good roll. Two growth and two damage, and then I go and hit it. And two damage goes in. All right, that's fine. 
Uh, that's me done with my mage action. And then if he comes over here with his creatures, it's starting to look like a good tsunami territory coming this way. I might move further on with the mage at that point. Target's mage vein. Right, right, right. One damage. I am not used to seeing the mage bane from the elementalists, so... There you go. Spends red marker on... He deactivates the water cliff, gaining mana. Uh, spends quick cast action, doing something to himself, enchantment, probably a Hawkeye then, and an action marker into Yeah. I mean I have Slither Shaw in hand and the uh, divine protection on myself. He has an acid ball on he from him, taking out my defenses with the Hawkeye reveal, yeah. So one corrode and one damage. So now I'm down to what one armor, and uh, I don't have my ages up in it or anything yet, so we will be taking some damage. That should be three dice, he says. Well, hmm, interesting that it didn't roll that automatically. Huh. Oh, I don't take extra damage from that. Because the armor was there for that. Uh, I will say pass. Now I'm just going to be bullied by all these creatures. Now, yeah. it's unfortunate. I don't even have the, the spells to remove corrodes in this book. That's actually a mistake. It's supposed to be in here. So, there you go. Yeah, I don't have it. Alright. Did I take two damage? Yes. And I'm staggered. Oh no. Alright. And I can pass. So he's focusing mage instead of focusing on the, the Stormfront Elemental, which I don't know if I like that particularly for myself. Uh, hmm, we're not taking a lot of damage, so maybe it's fine. Uh, I will just guard with Naya here in the corner. I don't... Well, no, I will move over here and guard like that, so that I maybe tempt the little rock golem to come and hit it, her. Nah, no. All right. She needs to be in support range of the Siren for sure. Ah, the criticals again with the little rock golem. Alright, so up to 9 damage out of 28, and then that is the end of the round. And in deployment phase, so I he's not deploying, I will deploy a Shosi Thrasher, another little distraction unit here. Hoping to tank some damage with him. First quick cast phase, he has initiative. No quick cast. I will quick cast some leather chaussees for some armor. Remembering to take one damage here. Oop. And in the first quick cast. Naya has a shallow sea that will be cast in this zone in here. Even though it has the title mental, it will hinder all the other things. Deactivates water cliff for him. He gains mana. And then he is quick casting. A thing onto me. Another acid ball, probably. Now, I really need that spell that can remove that, obviously. So let me reveal the divine protection. Two damage coming in. Two, two normal damage, but zero damage, but then two corrodes goes in. So now I have zero armor. I don't have a backup armor or anything. Yeah, well, that's bad. Hmm. Can't believe I didn't have that. I don't have like neutralizing mist. And he is casting something or doing something with his main action. Air glyph deactivates air glyph. And earth glyph natural fury. Oh, okay. Interesting. What is he doing with that? Never seen that actually being played, so he might be doing some attack spells. Yeah, okay. Focusing mage, and it's all as always that works against the siren. Siren always dies to the mage focus. Oh well, could I have done better things to protect my siren? Maybe. Oh Jesus! Okay, good rolls. And I was gonna, I have a dispersion hand to take out the Hawkeye, but of course it's too late now. And I don't know. 
Jealousy on Naya probably should go first. Yeah. That will give me region one as well. That, oh, that was my final mana. Ah, I thought I had calculated so I had in precisely enough for the whole guy. Disperse. Hmm. Dang it. But I'm also not playing super well, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, even if I had the neutralizing mist here, it's not gonna save me. Oh, and I need to take. No, no, I, I didn't cast a spell. Never mind. Whoops. Uh, one die is correct. So, before he guards, I'm just gonna use my mage action. I don't have any mana, so I can basic melee attack for two dice onto the pandemonium. One damage. Hell yeah. Done. Can I come back from this? Sure, why not? I have the hand of Shala, I have a brace yourself with a bit of luck. I can somehow escape this. I doubt it though. It is Knapmaster that we are playing against. He knows what he's doing. He's not gonna let me live after this. Can I could start to stun the tidal mental with the stormfront elemental? I think that might be the right play here. Yeah, maybe. Um, let me think. Is it though? Next turn, I will dispel the Hawkeye as the first thing, and then probably just, just I can crumble the mental wand. But yeah, that'll take some of the damage input away, and then a Shoulder Thresher Guard, and then I'm I mean I have a the the healing magical that I can't afford, obviously. So. That's going to be one turn further away. Oh, I can go and guard with the Stormfront Elemental. Hmm. That might be better. Or the Lightning Strike. I'm going to go for the Lightning Strike onto the Tidal Elemental and just roll, hope for the to roll this down here. Or Days, Days can do the same in effect. He did neither. Okay. Then it's not looking good. And the Tidal Elemental gets stronger in the Shadow Sea. So, yeah. He's gonna smack me with what? Plus one, minus one for a total of four. Four. He's adding two melee tokens. Interesting. Four dice, seven damage, and that's game. All right, GG. Well, that was a short one. Um, <laughs> as always, I will reveal. So yeah, this was the new and upgraded Siren versus the Elementalist. Did I play this poorly? Maybe I did. Maybe I shouldn't have run into that zone. Maybe I should have run away. But you gotta take out that pandemonium. I can't attack the creatures before the pandemonium goes down. Maybe I sh now I had the stormfront elements up, so I, when I was here, I could have treated up and ran away. Like he would chase me with the, the and I need an, a neutralizing mist. Not that I would have had a, an opportunity to cast it really. Oh yeah. Oh, and I want to say GG. So I mean, I I still feel like the elementalist is too strong. This is my have been my opinion all along. They have definitely, from the point where it started in the playtesting, it has definitely been reduced in strength, but it is still super strong in my opinion. At least it is on the same level as the wizard, and I would argue higher than the wizard, and still stronger than and, and stronger than the wizard and the druid and. The, I, I would argue the priestess and the paladin too, and so yeah, that's that's my own opinion as it stands. Uh, there might be ways to sway that opinion, but uh, at least it's been reduced in its strength over the the course of the playtesting, and I hope that we continue to push it in that general direction. And let's see here, training everything to the right of rust. 
I don't understand that. It is also trained... Oh, right. Well, it's also trained in some of the things to the left of Rust here. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the elementalist can be a pretty, like, purist mage, where he only runs things that are in school having four, uh, access to four schools is pretty powerful, but then you also pay triple for anything else, so it, I think it punishes it rather well. You do need something like regrowth build, and you do need an amount of dispels, so I think it kind of makes up. He has too many spell points. Well, I agree with, with Clubmaster on that point. Ah, uh, I don't know, but it, that's his, the intention of the design is that the Elementalist has more spell book points than anyone else, which is a carryover from the Academy set. And I think you could absolutely balance it by reducing the spell book points, but then you're destroying that theme. Do we need to keep the theme? No, not if it sacrifices the balance, but I would hope that there were some other ways to, to balance the Elementalist than that in, because I kind of like it at for thematics that he has the, the access to the many elemental spells. I, I think they did a really cool thing by making the everything else triple school. school. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's nice. It may be the, the best fix could maybe just be to reduce him to 120 spell points. Uh, see ya. I am, didn't answer Knappmaster. As I was talking to you guys, I hope everyone enjoyed this little demonstration of the Elementalist versus the Siren. And I promise that I will comp continue to do Mage Wars games going forward every other week. It's always the intention. And so I will leave you with that, everyone. See you soon, and bye-bye.